Hey, today I'm cooking rubbish. I took the table to my husband's house. Take it to water and a bit of onion. The size of onion now is crazy. God, I made this delicious, this delicious okra soup. Guess who came to help me in the kitchen? This my baby is very fine, very fine. Yes, and for guys, it tastes really good. Very big, very big international business. Are they good? Yes, my love. Yeah. Now this is you say you make mistake. <laughs>
guys, I don't like using time to make my food. I really love to use it when I'm boiling my meat. But when it comes to making food, I don't like it. Except the one in the stock. Came to help me in the kitchen. You came to help me slice the slice of wolves. Yes, for salad now. Say hi to the vlog. Are you shy? Hi. <laughs> Why are you shy now? Baby, you know you slice this small, small. I trust you now. No, you're a chef. This is how you know you're a chef. The way they keep their hand with their coffee sauce. <laughs>
Yes, so I wanted to give you Nigerian practice a lot. Right? I'm going to increase the fire so that it will burn to smoke very well, baby. Let's give it two minutes. Mm -hmm. You ready, okay? Yeah, I know. I just increased the light so that burn, let it burn, burn. So let me arrange the dining now. <laughs> Dining. It's not a dining room. It's not our room. Our room is our dining. You put it in the Chinese one. This is Oh my goodness. So I will never hit my feet over a stone. Every day. You see the goodness of God. Delicious. So I still have some here. I cooked much so that I can store it in the fridge. This is the remaining chicken. So I'm going to put this one inside and take it away so that I can preserve it. Yeah. Hey guys, good morning. It's another day fam, it's another day and I'm just waking up. I mean you can tell from my from my face. I just came here to talk to you guys because I've not spoken to you guys properly or even welcomed you guys properly into the vlog because yesterday was really busy for me. So welcome to a new vlog. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. If this is your first time here, you are absolutely welcome to the family. Please let me hear last the key. Make sure to subscribe. I wish sure you're going to love it here. Subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you always get notified anytime I post a new video. I'm going to try to post regularly now. I'm, I'm really going to try. I don't want to over promise and under deliver, but I want to under promise and over deliver if that makes sense. And if you have been watching and you're yet to like my video, Please go ahead and like it right now. Like, okay, like. It's really important to like the videos because it helps you to, to push out the video, you know. So please like the video. Thank you. So yeah, well, since we moved into this house, we've really not had a good meal. We've not had a good meal. And my husband has been saying I should prepare that he wants to eat jello fries. So yes, I had to take my time to prepare something really nice. And I promise you guys, that jello rice was Oh my goodness, it was so delicious. So, so delicious. My husband hasn't even gotten over it yet. <laughs> the rice was delicious, guys. Honestly, it was so delicious. I enjoyed every bit of it. My husband enjoyed it even more. And I made a lot because I really wanted to store it into the fridge or inside the freezer so that we can have something to fall back on this week. But guys, yesterday, neighbor took our light. And until now, they are here to bring it back. I mean, it's unusual because I know I've mentioned it that we always have light here, which is one of the things I love about this environment. And anytime they take our light, it won't even take up to 30 minutes. They will bring the light back. But yesterday, I don't know what's going on. I, at this point, I feel like maybe the light is bad because it's really, really, really not like time to take light for a long time without bringing it. And now there is no water. I don't know if I also mentioned it in my previous vlog that we pump water like every 30 30 minutes. I don't know why. We have a big tank, and there are two tanks here one for people upstairs and one for people downstairs. But we downstairs we pump water every 30 30 minutes. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a fault where they how they 
connected the water or did they tap it to somebody else's compound that makes it that when we pump it finishes far like we can't even tell it's crazy and at this point we've not even gotten reservoir we only have two buckets in this house and yesterday my husband washed there was no space for us to spray the whole clothes so one other bucket is occupied with clothes while it's the only one that is vacant that's the only one we had water in and now it's finished like it's, it's just a bucket like this paint bucket i don't even know what i'm saying now because i'm angry this morning i'm supposed to go to Kenya to go and fix the iOS of my phone because it's really affecting my there are things i do with it in terms of my other channel which i can't do again i'm being restricted so i already called the guy last night and told him that i was going to bring the phone today which he said okay fine i should bring it to ikeja today for him to fix now there's no water for me to bathe even my dishes are still here i've not washed any like dishes after making food yesterday it's not like me to even leave my kitchen unkept and go to bed but there was no water we were hoping that they were going to bring the water and the lights but up till now no water my husband has gone outside to check if there are places we can get water no water i'm just tired like i don't even know what to do i don't know what to do and the rice now i'm going to have to warm everything because our fridge is is not uh, if they don't bring like it's going to spoil and i have soup oh my god i made this delicious this delicious okra soup i think two days ago so now i'm just worried because there is no light to preserve all of that and I have other things in the fridge I'm just praying that they will bring this light before 10 o'clock this morning because if they don't, it's going to be messy Anyway guys, I just came to talk to you guys and um, update you guys on what's happening and also welcome you guys properly to the vlog Please please like this video if you are watching this point Let's See what I can do, maybe warm the rice so it doesn't get bad because there are vegetables inside Then we warm it first and then maybe I'll talk to you guys um, when there is light uh, or when I'm ready to go out. Yeah, keep enjoying the vlog. I'm ready to go, guys. They've not brought our light. In fact, the water that I used to bait, my husband had to go and beg it from the next compound. It's even really funny. Like, if, thinking about it, it's really funny to me. Uh, the water was not even full. According to him, when he got there, they told him that their water has already finished, that he should come and take some more. And the one he brought is not even up to have bucket. <laughs> it's not up to have bucket, guys. You need to see how I managed that water to bathe. I just had to concentrate on some important areas of the body, you know, and just manage the water so that I will just start going. Because if I don't do this thing today, it's going to affect me within the week. I don't even have one video for my other channel. I've exhausted all my videos because I do bulk film but that is too hot i'm just going to and i'm sweating i couldn't even use my moisturizer because that moisturizer i don't know who else experiences it when i use this moisturizer i mean simple moisturizer it makes me sweat on my face these are one of the reasons why i hate using it on my face and i think i'm the only one that does not use a sunscreen at this point yeah i know i'm not supposed to say that but that's the truth but i'm thinking of it i'm thinking of getting a sunscreen as soon as possible anyways I just add my lip gloss and I'm good to go. So I'm putting on this um, shirt and oh, I'm pairing this with a black jeggings. I got this shirt actually from Shane, I think last year or last two years, I can't remember. I think I'm going to be doing shades today, guys. I'm going to be putting on shades because the sun is sunny. This, was, this also is from Shane. How do I look? I can't even see myself because I'm filming with my back camera. I really want to get used to filming with my back camera. So I hope I'm capturing myself all the things I've been seeing. I'm going to be playing a very flat step out. I want to be as simple as I can. Yeah, and of course my old time bag. I already want my perfume. So perfume check, money check, phone about to be checked because that was amazing to record. This is how I'm going, guys free like a bed <laughs> i just hope that they will bring light before i come back like i'm really praying because if they do not bring this light <laughs> problem day problem go day 
and i'm also going to price in um, a reservoir as i'm going out let's know how much it is i don't know nigeria now everything is expensive so i'm really hoping that it won't be that expensive so that if i'm able to pick it today i'll just buy it because this is becoming becoming scary anyway guys i'll see you guys later with this thing it's so good i woke up this morning with a lot of energy <laughs> because since we moved in here i've not arranged this room so when i woke up this morning i said okay i have to tidy up you know just so that it will look good because we're becoming unbecoming so that was what you guys saw earlier i've been able to really tidy up to a reasonable extent my box i don't know if you guys can see it from here this one refused to fit in up there it was only the other one that was able to go in so i'm just going to leave it here for now until i figure out what to do about it everyone looks good now i'm a bit satisfied you know arranging a new place is not always that easy you know as time goes on you get to figure things out and how to you know keep arranging until you get to your perfect taste yesterday was fruitful i was able to update my phone my phone is almost like new the only thing i noticed is that since yesterday my battery on my phone tends to get really hot because this is 17 point something iOS. yeah so my phone tends to get hot and then um, the battery life now i think it has reduced a bit these are the two things i noticed but i'm okay i'm i'm happy that at least i can be able to do whatever i want to do with it and also there are some new features i got in it and it's really exciting i wish i can show you guys but that's what i'm using to film i'm really happy about that so from there yesterday i went to my parents place to get this table if you're an og you remember this table the one that miss b of austin better yeah austin better she's a youtuber gifted me this table Hmm. When I told my sister that my baby sister that I want to carry this table, she was like, "Sister, why? Why do you want to take it?" I said, mm? "Do you know how much it is with this change rate now to make something like this?" And besides, this table is still really strong, like very, very strong, so sturdy, and ah, it's serving me since she gave it to me. So I couldn't just leave it. I'm just going to be using it for now because I don't have that luxury to do or get a new table so i had to go and get it yes i took the table to my husband's house any problem about that <laughs> anyways guys i was cleaning today i figured out that my things are really really spoiling guys now look at this my um what is it called now this hair stuff that i got i forgot what they call it now this thing is not working i've tried to plug it into light it's not working i've not used this now to a year I don't know what happened it's still very okay very new i hardly use it itself i don't know if that's the reason why it's spoiled but this is not working and i feel so bad this thing should be really expensive now when i got it i think i got it around was it five thousand or thereabouts <laughs> but i don't know how much they're going to be selling it now 
and I'm, I'm feeling so bad. I don't know what to do. Or maybe I'll still keep it and try it later and see if it will work. My bags are peeling like this one here. You can see. My bags are peeling and this bag is still very fine. I love this bag. It's peeling. If I'm not only this one, a lot of my bag, the other my bag, the other day when I carried it out, the hand um the hand pulled off i don't know if it's because i've not been using all these things same goes with my shoes the one i wore to the church the other day in the church the thing pulled off maybe because i've not been using them for some time that is why all these things are happening i don't know like i really don't know my things are getting bad and i wanted to talk about my cutting you guys this cutting at my back is making me so angry the cutting is so flat i don't know if that makes sense it's so so flat like okay i think one of the reasons is because or the reason why is like that because this was not what i wanted right before we brought in the cutting we had already gone to the man that is sewing the cutting and he used the measurement of a standard window right but then when we got here it happens that this window is bigger it's wider than um than a normal standard window and he has already sewn the he had already sewn the the curtain so when we brought it both the inner and this one you know it's not it's not the same so we just have to use it like that and it's making me feel really bad and secondly the the curtain is so long like it's sweeping the floor i'm going to be showing you guys it's sweeping the floor so everything is just making me angry i don't even know uh, i don't have the luxury as well to change it for now we're just going to be managing it like that for now but when we are doing the one for our sitting room i'm going to take my time to do that one really really well like yeah now we've gotten the measurement and maybe as time goes on i'll have to change these curtains because the way it's looking this flat is just making me angry anyway guys i just wanted to come in here and you know chat with you guys and give you guys update today started on a good note i'm happy about that i'm going to be making a goosey soup later on I don't know if I'll be vlogging that, but let's see how it goes. When I'm done with this now, I'm just going to go get the things I'll be using to make the egg soup. Um, I'll probably talk to you guys later, okay? If you are watching this point, please like my video. Like, okay? And don't forget to share, all right? Talk to you guys later. Let me just enjoy this plate of goodness. And I'll see you guys later. Together. Let's see how it comes out. Hey, today I'm cooking rubbish. Today I'm going to be cooking rubbish. Rubbish, you guys. Only God know how this is going to turn out because I forgot to fry my my shombo. Just remember it now. 
Hey, I don't cook with the, I don't cook for tea. Let's see how it goes. So far, guys, a little salt. I'm not tasting bad so far, guys. Let me taste. I think the salt is okay. Let me cover it a bit. If I add. Yeah, he's not designing. I love the taste it gives in soup, whether okra or no, I could see. I love the serving. Yeah, bam. Oh, I could see it's ready. It's ready. I'm going to add more water. I don't think I should. It tastes really good. Saved. I have to tell me now. Stop talking, you've not eaten it yet though. I thought I did a mistake. I'm salivating now. I like to salivate my salivation in peace. Yes? Don't I salivate my salivation again? 
سعید نمیدون The lighting here is not so bright. Hmm. Yeah. I just want to say you make mistake. <laughs> 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 you don't mistake the lighting, so yeah, continue to do the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> 